Way do you meet Dr. Noreen? She's our doll doctor. She's amazing. Hey, Noreen. Oh, hi, Robert. I'm glad you stopped by. I could use your help just for a second. Okay, sure. What's up? This is one of the magic addicts. I and recognize her. I just yeah. got to pull this really tight. Oh, sure. and need a you stringing to, job. Yeah, just hold her by the belly there so that when I do, we won't lose any of her limbs. I love orthopedic surgery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to feel the power. Okay. Well, that's a good workout, isn't it? It is, actually. <laughs> Stronger by the minute. I think these were the better scissors. There we go. Oh, perfect. Very good. Now she can it's stand. It's Allison. She looks as good as the day she was made. You see that? Yeah, I'll tighten her up a little bit more with her hair and that. Anything else? Nope, I think that's it. I Great. appreciate it. Thanks Great. so much My for pleasure. stopping by. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. I am the resident plastic surgeon, also known as the Tonner Doll Doctor. Everybody here calls me Dr. Noreen. I see a lot of patients, anywhere from turn of the century, late 1800s, right on up to modern dolls. Um, I'm, as you can see, I have a few patients spread out here now. They're, they're all in different states. This is the doll that I'm going to be working on. This doll, actually, I'm excited about. Uh, it's a turn-of-the-century doll. This is a German bisque head doll. Uh, this one was made about 1900 to about 1915. They're my personal favorite due to the, the body construction and articulation. It's called a ball-jointed composition body and fully articulated. These dolls have the movement that new dolls today have. Very simplistic joints, but we're still copying and patterning our dolls after this type. She's missing her arms, but other than that, she gets around real well. <laughs> her arms will be attached. She has a little sanding and a little touch up on part of her shoulders and joints. And once she's all done and she's wigged, this doll will be actually outstanding. She'll be a beautiful doll. Uh, well, we started out with the Tonner Doll Hospital, but then we had all sorts of people calling and saying, I have a doll for my grandmother. I have this bis, this compo from the 30s. Can you do it? And I told Robert, I can do this. This is what I love to do. This is what I'm about. I, my doll doctor days go way back. I like what I do with the older dolls, and I like to see the look on the, on the faces of children and adults alike when they come in to pick them up. Sometimes they hug me, sometimes they cry, but it kind of gives me that. Uh, plus, I, you know, I get, to, I get to say I'm a doctor. I mean, how great is that?